All I think about is music. It takes a lot of faith to believe in yourself. We can't stop now. We're too close. What a pleasure to be here with one of you know Hollywood's big power brokers. And one of the things I like about your career is like you've had all these people in your movies that you've kind of not discovered, but that have mm -hmm. kind of featured in your in their first movies, discovered. like Anne Hathaway. Yeah. Uh, Jesse Williams, America Ferreira, Blake Lively, Blake Lively, mm -hmm. and now we have uh, Jordan Sparks. So it's not a new face to Hollywood or the world, but it's definitely a new face to the screen. How was it working with her, and and bringing her into this project? She will be on my list of major stars that got their start in one of the movies I produced. She is truly a movie star. She just has that it, that thing, that undefinable thing that separates the stars from people in the business. Right. Um, not just the voice, not just the beauty, but her soul comes through. Right. I made it very simple in this house. Respect, getting an education, and having a relationship with the Lord. If you can't do that, then go. Why would the Lord give me this gift if I wasn't supposed to use it? What'd you say? All I think about is music. Everything I see, hear, feel turns into a song, and I, I try to turn it off, but I can't. And I know the Lord loves me, and he wouldn't torture me with something I want to do, can't help but do. So I figured I- You figured I was wrong. That I had a gift. Sparkle, you can have a gift. It's how you use it. What they I like about Sparkle is there's, there's been a lot of remakes and you see like the Total Recalls and Predators and everything else, mm -hmm. but there hasn't been a lot of remakes with uh, with major movies that that are important in the African American yes. community. Yeah. And Sparkle seems to be like one of the, the first ones to do that. Do you see any other projects down the line that you might want to take on and to? Do? Many, and it will depend on what happens at the box office opening weekend. You know, it depends on how we do at the box office whether right. I get the opportunity to to, to do it. Right. Um, yeah, no, I mean, look, I know I, you could think of <laughs> 10 movies off the top of your head that well, would be fantastic. I got fantastic. four pictures for you right now, but we'll yeah. talk about that later. So, <laughs> so really, I mean, look, it's a, people should come to see the movie because they want to, but, you know, every time we have a movie come out, if we get support, if we do well at the box office, it helps make the next movie. Now, this, there's been a lot of story uh, changes to this story. I mean, mm. one being the, the change of the city. How important was it to change it up a little bit and, and, and remix the story a, a little bit? Well, I, you know, this is my second remake. I did The Preacher's Wife. And, and I'm actually developing Dirty Dancing, so I've been in this space a lot. What you want to do is preserve the essence of the original movie, the things that people really love. But also, you want to tailor it to modern sensibilities and make it accessible to the crowd. You don't want, you want people to, even though it's period and they know it, you want them to be able to feel that it, it, it's relevant today. So things that were fresh in 1976 with the original movie, maybe not so fresh now. So we tried to pick and choose, and we made the women stronger, kind of more focused, right. because that's what women are today. So we, we did it, we changed the movie very carefully and with a lot of thought. Now, I know it's been a labor of love, and it's been 12 years, and along the way, I mean, uh, people that's been attached, to, from Aaliyah to mm. Elaine Harris, and now the late, great Whitney Houston, you know, died in the making of this, this great picture. Mm -hmm. how, how much, how bigger, is, how much more important does that make it to you that, that this picture is done well, that, that all these people has been attached to it? Hugely. I mean, listen, and, and, and this movie started with Whitney, Whitney calling me one day while we were partners and saying, what do you think about remaking Sparkle? And, you know, so this has been a journey for both of us. But, you know, this ends up being the final piece of her legacy. And this will be the way that people remember her. Beautiful and passionate. And I think she gives the best performance of her career. And that makes me really happy. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you for having us out thank to you. interview you and Whitney in November on set. And uh, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Mm. Yes.
a long, long, long time at the board with her. And I remember her showing me when you want to get louder, turn yourself up, push that button. And five years old. Yeah, she was showing me how to work. Mm. But when you want to hear your, this is how we do it. You want to hear yourself loud. Thank <laughs> you.